today I'm going to talk to you about how to use pencils to create calligraphy. So what I've discovered is it's best to use pencils that are of medium softness. So you're looking for an HB to 2B. You'll want to use a pencil like this. Mechanical pencils just really don't do so well with pencil calligraphy. First, you're going to hold your pencil just like you normally do. So in dip pen calligraphy, we're always behind the calligraphy right here. But with pencil calligraphy, we're on top of it. So however you normally hold a pencil, hold it that way, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. And then the concept behind pencil calligraphy is the exact same as it is with dip pen calligraphy. So if you have a downstroke where your stroke goes down, you apply pressure and you can see that you get this nice thick stroke right here. But if you have an upstroke, you don't apply pressure. And then you see that this stroke is considerably lighter and thinner than this first stroke. And then of course on the horizontal strokes, they're always the same as the upstrokes. So if we try to write a word like hello, this is how it will go. You can see that I'm applying pressure on these downstrokes, letting up on the upstrokes. And here you have a word where you have this beautiful stroke variation. Now there are a couple of disadvantages to using a pencil for calligraphy. First of all, when we do dip pen calligraphy, we normally draw our guidelines in pencil, right? And then we use our dip pen to write on those guidelines. And after the ink dries, we erase it. Obviously you can't do that with a pencil. So you have to figure out some other way to have guidelines, if you even have them at all, it actually might be better to do more of a freestyle calligraphy like this right here, which is more of a Caitlin style, where you have these different baselines. Um, one thing I do, if I want to make more formal calligraphy, like this envelope, is I will use the light box to shine up guidelines so I can see those. Um, but for the most part, you're probably going to be better with a freestyle here. To practice your pencil calligraphy, of course, you can use the free worksheet that is provided in this post. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.